Hey guys and welcome back to Stray the Kitty Adventure. My name is Twitchy and we have fallen down to the Undercity. We're trying desperately to make our way back up and I've got a little bit of new music for someone to play here tomorrow. So let's hear and have a listen. It sounds cool. Watch that. We have gone on a big adventure going around and solving mysteries and uh, problems for ev all the little robots that live down here. And we've been trying to uh, reunite some robots with their families. We've done this and this has actually granted us access to no people who have been to the outside. Doc was one of the outsiders. You can see him there stood next, to, next to his son, Samus. And Doc's group is a group that have actually made it to the outside world. So maybe we can make it to the outside world as well. I think we're going to have a little chat with everybody here. Hey, I'm gonna meet Doc. I've met Doc before, but hey. Hey, Teddy, what's up with Rosie? Uh, Billy, uh, do you know my son, Seamus? Seamus? I don't know how I'm pronouncing that. Thanks, Seamus. I can come back from that damn place. Uh, okay, cool. Good, good, good work. Good work. I'm gonna talk with Teddy here. We've talked to Teddy before. This is impressive, Doc. Nobody has survived that long in the dead city. I mean, this is true. Billy, uh, so you survived the Zerks after all? The Zerks, of course, being genetic microbes that are now macro-sized that come along and, uh, and and eat the robots. And we're always worried about uh, things eating our robot friends. Oh, did you meet the weird little orange creature walking around? Oh wait, that's me. Uh, you must see him walking about. It, it's actually me. I am the weird little uh, ro uh, weird little orange creature with my robot friend B12 behind me here. This is the guardian. He protects this place. Momo will meet you at, at the sewers to help you with the rest of your journey because of indeed the journey to the outside that takes its way through the sewers just over here but i've got i've got more sheet music that i need to deliver to this person right over here how are you doing we found it everywhere all around this city and uh, we've not been making deliveries so i would like to at this point make all my deliveries this is cool down i would like to thank you very much as we sit back and listen to this i might even just go take a little little sit down here and we'll listen cool down it's nice. A lot of the music sounds very similar to each other in this game, which I, I'm fine with. But uh, yeah, I suppose there's only so much you can do when you're playing a guitar made out of an old oil can there. Uh, it's kind of all right, but you know what? I think I'm going to jump up here and give him the next piece of sheet music. Uh, no, all right. I'm not allowed to. He's not finished, so I'm just going to wander off. One of the things that I am desperate to do before I leave here, if I press up on my inventory and move across to the memories, you can see that I am missing the two of them, these two greyed out sections here. And I'd kind of like to find them, and I think this is one of them. You can tell by the blue glow and the fact that B12 walks up to see it here. It looks like this poor guy also wanted to go to the upper level. Yes, I remember. Midtown is up there, away from all the garbage and sickness of the slums. Even in dire times, humans could not help but divide themselves by social class. Back then, a lot of people from the slums were prepared to do anything to move up there. Apparently, ro ro robots also copied this behavior. Okay, I mean, that is a thing. Oh, that is not a memory I was expecting. Okay, I mean, this is this is fine. I'm glad that I have found a, a memory uh, from earlier on in the game. Also, what is he doing? I've never gone up and spoken to that robot there. They appear to be staring at the sky above. The sky that actually separates us from the outside world it turns out the humans made the, the the dome when the world was getting just a little bit too nasty to live amongst uh, and now the robots are trapped down here without a way to really get up and past the bad guys that are gonna eat them if they do go along it can i get on here and then maybe across this way uh, I, I i see where i'm wanting to go or I've, uh, I've got an idea of where i want to go whether i can make it there might be a different matter. Is that not a jump up there? I was kind of hoping that I could jump across here, maybe then onto this route. That was down. That's not quite what I want. If we could just carry on traveling as high up as possible up there. They are, they are new. We've traveled up there before. In fact, I know how to travel over there because these these people here, unfortunately, I managed to knock off this one in particular, uh, some some paint, and then we got in, tr in trouble. And, uh, you know, our downstairs neighbor disagrees. So we're taking a break right now. I mean, you did drop the paint. <clears throat> 
totally wasn't distracted from throwing the paint. But he did drop the paint down onto the floor and then uh, the uh, the owner had to come out and tidy up after you. Uh, it, I, I, I see why the downstairs neighbour may very well have disagreed with your fun. Uh, okay, so we've made our way all the way around this way. Ooh, running into the wrong area here. And hopefully at the top. Hello, who are you? Can I talk to you, Swantino? Nice to meet you. I could name the lights like a real constellation. The big circle? The bull? No, it needs more brainstorming. Hello, what do you want? I mean, I don't, I don't think I actually want anything. I just wanted to say hello, see what you're up to. And it turns out, not much. Anyway, here's Sheep Music 7. Let's see what he's got. Mildly important information. Okay, play me those tunes. This was composed by a renowned algorithm. What what algorithm actually made this? Who knows? Let's listen on and... Uh, and again, sounds very similar to the others. There's some plinkety plink. And I'm impressed that they've got the little whistly noise in the background. I assume the robot is making that themselves. There is still one more memory out there in the city that I need to find before we can deliver the, the last piece of sheet music. Oh, it's not a memory, but it is something that I've not found yet. We've got ourselves a, uh, a vending machine here, and we can get energy drink cans out of the vending machines. And these are a form of currency for one of the shops. I need myself just just one more drink to be able to afford the final, the final item at the shop. Well, was walking around, I found the last energy drink dispenser. Yeah, that's what I'm going to call a vending machine from now on, an energy drink dispenser. Well, we got those, so I guess what I'm going to do now is uh, run my way oh, up, 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 up and over. Uh, we need to make our way as far down this way as possible because this is where the shop is located. I'm not sure the fastest way back down to the surface. It turns out not this direction, but we'll find a way over there. All right, with a spring, a hop and a bounce, we've managed to make our way back over over to the barter man here. Hello, how are you doing? I'd like to have a look at this if I can, please. Hello again, what do you want now? It's an ancient relic, a testament to the talent of our ancestors. It will cost you three energy drinks. I've, I've, I've got those, show the items. Here you go, is that good? Ah, uh, <laughs> of course, oh, of course. All right, yeah, the, the, this is where they, they hit the last memory. I'm all about it. What memory are we gonna gain from this? I really thought it was gonna open something else up. Okay, this is cool. Uh, this is the early model of a companion. Back then, they didn't have any personality. They were just glorified autonomous cleaners. I think it's nice they eventually mimicked humans. I think that uh, it's like they missed them. And in a way, it cut, they kind of kept them from going extinct. They're good robots. They are good robots. This is cool. So where do these other two memories reside? Hmm, things have been lost to time, I think. Things might have been lost to time. Oh, well, if we come up and over here, everyone's really glad to see Doc, as we well know. Uh, and, of course, down this way, we can finally deliver the final piece of music. Hello, how are you doing? You will practice. I know that you will pr practice. But, hey, here's the very last music sheet. You've done very well, little one. Have this badge as a token of my gratitude. Whee! We got a badge. I'm all about the badge. Let's see uh, what this what is this last piece so like there's my outsider badge on the right hand side of my of my backpack i wonder i wonder whether it's going to be put on somewhere else unreadable sheet music what a name not very readable but you can still try good luck good luck where what, can i change my badge and the badge is kept so what 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 is the deal let's have a look inside our inventory and see if this is a thing no it's not a thing i've got no items now what happened to my badge it just stole it from me and the music's a little bit rudimentary. All right, well, here we go. Let's go and... You, hey, you're not Momo. Nice to meet you, though. How are you doing? Benzo. Momo is waiting for you on his boat. You can join him, but have you done everything you wanted here? I hope so, because I'll close the door behind you. We don't want any Zerks coming through. I, I agree with that. I think we're done. If there's any more to be done, then I'm going to have to do it through on a second playthrough. So here we go. Away we go through. Uh, these are the... Is that it? They, they already locked me in. Wait, I'm, I'm going to go check. I'm going to go make sure. Yeah, they kept the place safe. Kept it secret. Kept it hidden. I'm all about it. We've got to keep the robot friends safe. You know, got to keep our robot friends safe. Who built this bridge? These are other questions that I would like to contemplate. Hey, Momo, how's it 
going? I hope you're having a good time because I am also having a good time exploring this area out here. I'm just looking around to see if there's anywhere that we might want to go check out before. Uh, if I push this up, maybe in the memories. Uh, look, so these, these two here are no longer greyed out. But now these ones are. So I, I assume these two are around somewhere. And then we've just missed these ones? Question mark? I don't, I don't know exactly. But we're going to see what we can find around here. Just give the place a uh, once over. Like there's... there's little uh, bridges to go and check over here and there's ways that we can travel that are not on the beaten path i don't think there's much more to do here more importantly who built this place what why why is this the way it is is there anything in here that we can have a look at i'm not i'm not seeing much i'm not seeing any glories so uh, hey momo how's it going can we have a little chat I can't believe you found Doc and got the defluxor. With this, we can now go find Zabalta. Let's go. I mean, I am down. Let's do this. What are we going to find on our tr on our routes, our travels, and our adventures? Uh, hopefully, we're going to go meet some good friends that will show us the way out. Because we've been down here a long time now. Uh, traveling through the sewers, I don't think it's going to be particularly pleasant. There's, there's a variety of reasons why it won't be pleasant. Mostly, the smell. We're, we're down in the sewers now, and uh, it's horrific. So let's turn on a little bit of a torch here and see what we can see. Same graffiti as we've seen everywhere else. I wonder who does make all the graffiti. Hey, Momo, this place is creepy. Have to 100% agree with you there. Uh, this purple light is the light that kills the Zergs. Uh, for some reason, they don't respond so well to UV, which, you know, I suppose that is a thing that happens. We do that in real life. Uh, UV light does tend to kill germs uh, and these are after all just highly mutated uh, microbes that's the word that i was looking for i do wonder how far in the future we are why did the microbes and even the robots mutate but our little cat friend here is still the cat shape that we know and love. Uh, I, I don't know what's going on with that, to be honest. The marvels of evolution, perhaps indeed, it has been decided with the pressures and the, uh, the, the evolutionary wants that we have here. The cat is indeed the ideal form. It could be. Are you just making noises at me for some reason? You're all right. Are you going to tell me it's creepy? I don't see a way to open this gate. Can you have a look on the other side? I, I guess so. We, we, we know how to do this. Uh, I mean, obviously, this cat is a little bit more intelligent than your average feline. Uh, it seems to uh, respond quite well to spoken language, which uh, is, is not a thing my cats have done in the past, let me tell you. They do respond to the spoken language, but not well, you know? Uh, okay, let's jump up. I don't, I don't know where we're going. I'm just kind of walking in... The direction that the game allows me to go it's uh it's really a, a game uh, a mechanic sorry that works well in most games if uh, if there's only one route to walk well then maybe you should walk that way access control system denied okay we're gonna jump down here i'm really worried about that like look at that normally they glow uh, a color when we see them see them here but normally they're glowing like orange or something uh, i see this lever do you see this lever Oh, I'm gonna run away. Oh, no, 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 no. Get off me, get off me, get off me. Um, I'm trying to press the purple button. Purple button, why are we so zoomed in here? Oh my gosh, that is bad. Okay, we've overheated just a little bit, and I'm not. Oh, I had one on my button, I didn't see it. I didn't see the B button for some reason. I was focused so much on trying to make the light pop out. I even knew that they were gonna come from there. That's my second life second life i don't know whether we've got the nine life limit that you would expect us to have uh that that would be um unfortunate and uh, actually you would expect them to 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 notate that somewhere you'd see somewhere on the hud that it would be like so many of nine when we died uh but i i, I suppose that's fine um i'm wondering what system i want to use here do i just want to like run through and then come out and then press this button and then that that did that right look at that. a little bit of pre-planning goes a long way in games like this and we're gonna do the same again we're gonna swing around like this and then whilst looking backwards spread the uv light everywhere there's one more there is one more i feel like we can just take that on now i'm gonna do the same again we're gonna oh, oh, oh. i don't know whether it burst this time uh it's, it's like popping a, a a big spot right you got you got to give it the right amount of oh, of effort uh 
There we go. We good? Are we good? Right amount of effort, else it just won't. It just won't. Okay, so we, we did okay there. Jump up onto the lever. We've been taught that jumping onto levers is a good thing, so uh, I I did the good thing there. Okay, I wasn't expecting that to be the... I was kind of kind of expecting us to... Uh, hello, can I jump? There we go. Beautiful. Kind of expecting Momo to come out and try and go through one of those doors. Turns out, no. You got more to say over there. Hello, how are you doing? Uh, I've never been this far out of the slums. With you here, I'm not even scared. It's crazy how how cats do that right look look at the look at the eye shine depending on which way we're looking that is attention to detail right there that is that is good game um i feel scared i, f I feel a little bit like a small cat on a boat uh, over water sounds like you got more to say hello i've never done this far yeah we, we've done that bit we have done that bit i, mean, I, I just can i not scan them do you see them up there I sure do. That's that's overheat temperature now. I wonder whether it's quicker to let it overheat and come back than it is to stop and start again. Momo, are you okay? Are we doing okay here? Where are we even headed? You could give me some sort of idea that I'd know what we were trying to protect instead of just trying to protect the tiny little boat that we find ourselves on here now. I am super worried about falling in the water. Not because I think the game will actually let me fall into the water, but because I'm a cat. Let's be honest here. <clears throat> what are we going to find in this cutscene? We saw the Zerk up top. I, I, am, I have no control, so I can't just jump over there. Is my robot friend waterproof? Is that a thing? If Momo fell in the water, would they be okay? I've just also, also noticed that Momo's legs are different, so I'm assuming that they've had one replace it. Ooh. Oh, he didn't like that. What what happened there? Are we okay? Are we okay? Gonna be like, hey, you need to go and try and open up a few things, right? Uh, all this old machinery is broken now. I think we can only open it manually. I can't open it manually. I haven't got thumbs. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I don't know what we're going to do about that. I'm going to jump up here. Uh, come on, Momo. We, we, we've got this. We've got this. Uh, do you need a little, like, hand crack? Are you actually... That That is the way, right? That is the way. Are we going to be inundated with with bad guys now? Like, the, the, if the place is shaking, surely they know we're here now. Uh, Momo, talk. Uh, quick, jump below the door. It won't hold for long. Oh, I don't, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Uh, I can't go with you, but I won't stop looking for a way. When you find Zabalta and Clementine, tell them I was brave. You were brave. You are very, very brave. I don't know why we're not just bringing my friend with us. Okay, let's go. And they're going to slam the door down, right? I don't like this. As... as Cat havens go. This is not the one. Uh, let's. I can't run. I can't run. I would have preferred to run, honestly. I don't, I don't like touching that stuff. It makes my paws feel funny. Uh, so that looks like the way to go, but because of that, uh, make me want to look this way and then also look over this side. Just to see if there's any like memories or anything like that hanging around out there. There's another blast door over there. Or um, flood door? I don't, I don't know if blast door is really the word. I don't think they're trying to stop any explosions going through. It's trying to stop uh, the torrent of poop. Oh, hello. Who are you? Ah, oh, you best not be Clementine. That's all I've got to say on that matter. You best not be. Uh, I see a yellow thing over here. Can I? Oh, it's a screwdriver. No, I can't. I just spoke about the lack of thumbs. Can't use a screwdriver. You see that up there? I'm not allowed to cook them. Not allowed to cook them. I really would prefer to. Ah. Uh, I don't. Yeah, we're walking through the water. Oh, my paws. My poor, poor paws. I'm not about it. I am not about it at all. So we've entered our first sort of maze section, I feel like. I can't leave these behind me. We're going to we're gonna pop them. No, we're not popping them. We're going to pop them and then run back and then turn around and um, apply that stuff. Oh, good. Good work. Good work. That's going to be difficult to do multiple times. And look, this one looks like it's ready to pop as well. I don't know what we can do. Ooh. Oh, can I pre-pop? Oh, no, 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 no. I can't pre-pop them. I cannot pre-pop them. Shake them off. Run away. <laughs> All right. I mean, like, that. It, that is a thing, I suppose. Turn around and get ready with the goop button. Uh, I don't know whether they can make it up the stairs. And I'm, I don't want to get close enough to find out. Press the button. 
No, we're not. We're not. We're not cooking them. That cooked them? Maybe. Was it only the one? Was it only the one? Okay. Can, can I? Can I just confide in you guys and tell you that I am slightly worried about the way we're doing things here? Feels a little bit scary, you know? Feels a little bit scary. I am super, super, super worried about any of these things popping on me. So the little ones don't seem to drop when we burst them like that, but unfortunately these big ones do. Uh, I think I'm worried about overheating. Uh, rightfully so, it turns out. Uh, I can't, I've got to wait for it to completely the the um the heat? I don't know what the button <laughs> the cooldown. We've got to wait for the cooldown to, to fully cool down. Uh, oh, okay, that's that's good. That's good. This is going to be a cautious time. Cautious time. Uh, more than a curious time because we all know curiosity does terrible, terrible things to a cat. Caution, though. I mean, I've never... I've, I've not really heard of many sayings with, like, caution killed the cat. Uh, ca uh, caution kept the kitty safe. Is that... Is that... Is that the phrase? I think that might be the phrase. Portion keep the kitty safe. Ooh, ooh, no. Ooh, no. I don't like that at all. I I'm just gonna look. Oh, I'm sure that's that's a dead end that way. We got a couple. We got a couple. There's there's big groups coming through. Maybe, maybe I'm the, the, the one, the being, who's gonna come through and save them all. I would actually like... Oh, look, he's eating. Uh, I would actually like to save my robot friend if possible. But I think I think that would be the ideal way. Is this actually moving on with the game? I would like to go and check out that other area. There's, there's already been one time where I feel like I've missed a, a section because I felt like one way was the way forwards and it turns out it was not. Yeah, like, like, like this, like this. I can jump over there, though. Oh... You know what? I don't know which way's forwards and which way's extra. Um, I'm gonna go. Oh, oh, decisions to be made. I'm gonna go this way. There, there, there's a there's, there's a whole like curiosity section down here. Um, and as we all know, curiosity kept the cat intelligent, right? Yeah, I'm sure. Sure, nothing. But oh, memories. What have we got over here? What have we got? What, what are you gonna tell us, B12? Tell us about this. The sewer system. Yes. I remember. Clean water was so scarce. You see, it was supplied by a huge machinery that dug deep into the earth. Just like everything else, it was rationed out to sustain people during the times of drought. The scientists showed me the blueprints of the water tanks. They're huge and can contain a whole building inside them. Okay, we'll do oh, we got one, one memory of two. That's good. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. But what are we going to find elsewhere? I don't, I don't think there is elsewhere to be found. What this? Can I? I can't. Can't. Let me let me get up a, a light here. I can't jump onto that. It won't let me. What about up onto here? No, the door. Ah, but the door does kind of hold open. Oh, mate. But unfortunately, with that, exploring through the sewers has taken a lot longer than I thought it would. And I'm going to have to hit the to be continued button here. I will see you guys next time. Where we're going to continue making our way through the sewers and hopefully having a good time with it. Yeah, good times will happen. But I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye.